Hi, my name is Mani Ali Kani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. Today, we continue the discussion on a step band. If you remember from last session, we talk about biomechanical characteristic of a step band in general. However, a lot of variables need to be discussed. Let's start with the variables that are wire related. The first question that pass to our mind, where we should put the step band? Should it be in the middle or should it be closer to one bracket or the next bracket? Would that make any difference? For simplicity of discussion, Let's assume we have two brackets and a section of the wire, and we have a step band in this section. If you notice, if you are moving the step band from the middle closer to one of the adjacent bracket, the relationship between the wire and the bracket does not change, which means that it's not important where you put the step band. It's not similar to the V band. V band, if you change the position of the V band, the magnitude or even direction of the forces and moments can change. In a step band, as long as you are keeping the same shape of the step band, if you move it from one side to another side, in general, the forces and moment in your system does not change, which gives you a little bit of flexibility when you are treating your patient. You don't need to be worried where you are putting your step band. The second variable is the height of a step band. Should I put a large step band or should I put a small step band? The only things that will change depends on the height of the step is the magnitude of your forces and moments. However, the direction of forces and moments stays the same. Of course, if you are having a larger step band, you're expecting the amount of the forces and moment in your system increase significantly. The third variable that is related to the wire that we need to discuss is the magnitude of stiffness or flexibility of the wire. If you having more flexible, less rigid wire, the magnitude of your forces and moment reduce. However, general characteristic of your forces and moment stays the same. In this regard, if you are adding a loop to your step band, remember loop by itself does not add anything. It just makes the wire more flexible. Therefore, as long as you're keeping the same shape of the step band, the magnitude of forces and moments can decrease, depends on the shape of the loop. However, the general characteristic of your moments and forces stays the same. When you are using a section similar to the V band, it is not wise to use the round wire. It's better to use rectangular wire to prevent the rotation of the wire in the bracket, which may change the step band in the three dimension in the space. It is better to stay with the rectangular wire when you are using a sectional wires. Another variable that we need to talk about that is related to the magnitude of the flexibility of the wire is the distance between two brackets. If the two adjacent is are far away from each other and you're putting the same step and you will see the wire will be more flexible. Therefore, the magnitude of the forces and moment in your system can drop significantly. In general, these are the variables that are related to the wire. Now let's start to look at the variables that is related to the bracket. Today we look at only one variable and next time we continue the discussion on other variables. What happens if one of our brackets is narrower than the other bracket? Most of the time when we are practicing in orthodontics, a bracket, for example, on the premolar is a little bit narrower than the bracket on the molar. Is that going to affect the step band? Yes. You're right. If one of the bracket is narrower, the magnitude of the couple in that bracket would be less than the adjacent bracket that has a larger width. That would reduce the amount of the moment in that bracket, while the moment in the adjacent teeth will stay the same because the relationship between the wire and the bracket does not change. Therefore, you're not going to have equal moments on adjacent teeth. At this condition, one of the teeth has a smaller moment than the other. Overall, the magnitude of your forces in the system decreased slightly. But keep an eye on that. When we're talking about the step band in the wire, it's just not the property of the wire that defines the step band and how it reacts. The property of the adjacent bracket also significantly affects what we are going to see. 
Thank you for listening to another session of Citor channel. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to press the like button. Thank you so much.